Uh, I, my name is Jenny Ampersand and I'm a costume designer. Uh, the thing that attracted me to theater design was um, just all of the different elements coming together, being able to design props and costumes and design what people are wearing. Uh, the thing that I that I most like about it is that it's it's all about problem solving. It's collaborating with other people to create images and stories that people experience um, in a theater. As a costume designer, I have to be able to analyze a script. I have to be able to collaborate with um, not only the director, but all the other designers. Um, I usually I end up building the costume, so I have to have sewing skills and construction skills, and sometimes I'll make costumes that are, you know, there's a giant mask or there's a strange wigs or, you know, I have to problem solve how things, um, how things fit on someone's body. So there's a lot of, there's sewing skills, but there's also, you know, construction using power tools. And I really enjoy that you start out, you have a few months, you put something together, it's beautiful, and then, and then it disappears and you move on to the next thing. <laughs> usually approach a project with some sort of color palette and I like to kind of keep my color palette sort of fairly strict. For a while it was black and white only, but <laughs> I have grown up since then. <laughs> um, now it's gray. No. <laughs> I guess I, li I like my costumes to um, have a bigger idea that um, covers the whole design rather than just like this this one character wears this because I like how that looks and this character has this I try to have like sort of a story woven within what what those specific things are I mean people are still dressed but <laughs> but there's sort of a theme involved with it I worked on a show called Marisol and there's an angel in the show, and they have um, two sets of wings. The first set of wings are supposed to be, they're sort of falling apart, and she's in this like post-apocalyptic world, and I designed wings that we made, made fabric out of plastic bags, so ironing plastic bags together, and then, then we cut uh, feathers out of the plastic bags and then stitched a line down the middle of them, and then created these like wild, multicolored wings for that one, and then um, the second set of wings for that were she goes to war with God. It's a very, <laughs> very epic play. Um, but uh, the second set of wings were um, her war wings, which we made out of um, HVAC tape, and it's sort of the silver tape, and we made all of these um, strips of, of that and did the same sort of stitching on it. We used football shoulder pads as the base and then created um, a PVC pipe structure for these wings so she could, she like strapped herself in and could walk around in them. They're pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm always excited about collaboration. I feel like collaboration, any ideas that I have are very, you know, me as one human being can only make so many ideas and my ideas are very small but when you introduce it to other people, they have different experiences. I mean, I do theater because I enjoy collaboration. I think the thing that that I get nervous about with collaboration is um, being able to communicate and it takes a while to figure out um, how another person expresses themselves and sometimes words are difficult and <laughs> I think the hardest part or the thing that I get nervous about is just being able to to understand each other and what what you know the other person is is trying to say you can't you can't do theater if you don't at least slightly love collaboration